mate, what on earth has happened to this? What the? Yes, yes, the team, how we doing? Welcome to the very first vlog of 2020. So today is a rest day. This is my first rest day meal. Three eggs, half an avocado, one bagel. Uh, eggs were shit, bagel was shit, and it's purely because I was faffing around with avocado trying to film it. For the YouTube, um, less than ideal. A little bit of salt, a bit of ketchup on top as well. My hair is an absolute shambles because I'm going to get my hair cut. Um, I'm going to get a hat on, so yeah. That is slightly better. When I don't have a hat on, I look like, has everyone, anyone seen um, Dumb and Dumber? Jim Carrey. That's an absolute shambles. That's an absolute shambles. <laughs> oh, anyway, Bryce and Tiller vibes. Um, yes, yeah, so today, rest day. Um, at the moment, work wise, one to one online is going absolutely fantastic. But that means I'm just crazy, crazy busy. So um, finally, I got a uh, kind of a morning and afternoon free, which is epic. Um, so first meal going in, going to get my hair cut. Jackson's going to be sorting me out. As you can see, I need a trim really, really badly. Um, so it's going to show you a standard day for myself. It's coming up to the 31st of January, which means one thing, taxes do. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit of that this afternoon as well. And then tonight, I am doing a podcast with someone very, very cool, um, which I'm excited to kind of show um, and yeah, I'm gonna put that on my podcast as well. So if you guys haven't already, I do have a podcast, uh, an insight into the fitness industry, which um, in which I talk to personal trainers, online coaches, uh, gym owners, people in the industry uh, that are very successful and kind of find a little bit of insight about themselves and um, ask them questions and, and bits and bobs like that. So uh, I'll drop the link down below, check that out. Obviously, the podcast I do tonight, check that one out also. Um, hopefully, it will be out by the time you watch this. So anyway, I'm going to go eat my eggs, um, and I'll probably see you um, get a little sit back, relax, and let the music play. Baby, that is so bad. Jackson coming through with a fresh fade. Um, if you're from Chelmsford, Essex, go ahead and check Jackson out. I'll leave his Instagram in the bio. He runs his own barber shop. Um, go and check him out. So on to meal number two. Uh, plain and simple Greek yogurt, honey, granola, and that's it. I'm in an off season at the moment, uh, and I will be for a long time up until come the summer when I do a mini cut. Um, so at the moment, my kind of macros, even on my training day, are quite high. I'll leave the macros for the whole day around here somewhere, ensuring that I'm still in a calorie surplus. Um, I don't want to be in a deficit. I want to maintain that surplus so I know that I'm going to be building as much muscle as possible, pushing on those lifts in the gym with the training structure that I have at the moment and I'm progressing from there. So meal number two. Coming up. So a typical rest day for myself normally falls on a Thursday and that tends to be my admin day. So my online coaching team, all my check-ins on a Monday morning, um, whereas this is just for my one-to-one -one clients where I kind of change and edit all their programs ready for the forthcoming week. I also have a main list that goes out on Friday, get involved if you haven't already. So obviously I spend all of a Thursday um, getting that ready to send out uh, and that's pretty much it guys that is what my rest day tends to contain of and basically this is where I try and make the most of my time because any other day 
you know, even when you're training going to the gym, that does take a chunk of, t a chunk of time out of your day, a couple of hours, obviously you have to get ready, you have to think about training. So I really kind of use this day um, to get all my admin stuff done. Um, just to confirm, there's a few questions that I had of where on earth do I record my shots with the first um, part of this video, as you'll probably see. And all I do is, actually I'll show you right in my cupboard, right here, if I open this one up, it's just, just there. Unfortunately, they're the culprits that have to come out. But yeah, that is for the first shot. So meal number three, we're gonna go three going in. Chicken, rice, and broccoli, all pre-cooked going in. As simple as it is, it does the job on a rest day, like any other day. Um, also had some rice cakes as well as a bit of a snack whilst I was working a bit of whey protein. Uh, made into a little paste, if you know, you know. Um, and yeah, meal three, meal four, whatever it is, going in. Yes, so as it's Thursday evening, it's one-to-one -one clients at Riverside for Team NC Fitness. Gonna go and do those, come back, and I got a special guest uh, for my podcast this evening, which I'm super, super excited about. <gasps> what am I doing? Oh, you meant to do it first. Don't do that, why don't you do that? Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Ruined. Hello, dude. How are you? Uh, but all that side of things. And then the fitness thing was honestly just me having fun, but people took a huge interest in it and as I said, Milestone grew from being like a thousand followers to 10,000 followers to 20,000 followers. And now I think we're at 50, 54,000 or something like that. So it's grown considerably as like a side project. I tried to make it not just about like get six pack, be this. I try to be like, hey, like here's a fun thing to try out or here's some motivation to go to the gym today and trying to get people to make a difference in their own lives rather than just being like, check it out, I got a six pack. Yeah. Um, I align with their values. I like the people. I like what they're about. Yep, let's work together. That makes sense. Rather than like chasing something down, I think there's a real culture now of like, I want to be an influencer. I want to be a sponsored mm. athlete. I want to be this. Rather than being like, well, just focus on you as a, as a person first and you as your skill sets and then focus on that. I try and keep my content engaging, educational, and inspirational. They like the three things. So it might be a workout video where I'm teaching you how to do this. It might be a fashion post because I want to share whatever thing is that I really like. It might be me swimming in the ocean because I'm like, well, this is fun and it's good vibes and someone might have a good day because of this. Content and, and social media has always been about doing what I want to do. And so first and foremost, I do what I want to do. Yes, yes. So a couple of days after filming the podcast with Nathan, um, we actually did it a couple of days after I filmed the YouTube video. Something came up that he couldn't do it, but it was absolutely fine. Obviously, I, I completely appreciate his time for um, coming on and, and speaking to myself. And we touched on some fantastic subjects, as you saw a second ago. So go over to the description in this YouTube video, click on the link and listen to the full podcast. It's roughly about 30 minutes. Um, and we talk everything from Gymshark sponsorship, how he got sponsored, how he grew, his social media, some of the things you can kind of see a second ago um, leading up to that. But it's a really, really good listen. Um, and again, I, I proper appreciate his time. So there's also a podcast that I've done with TM Cycles. So if you're a TM Cycles fan, um, that's coming out potentially very, very soon. So stay tuned for that one. And like I always do in YouTube videos, comment down below with things that you want to see. Um, the one with TM Cycles I'm actually going to put on YouTube as well. Uh, I've got a few videos lined up with Carly and other bits and bobs as well, uh, which would be really, really cool. Hope you liked this video. If you haven't already, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, whatever you want to do. Subscribe, comment below, um, and yeah i'm looking forward to producing so much content in 2020 some collaborations coming also uh, some cloven um, haul reviews my protein everything like that very very soon um, i've also made a tiktok account as well i'm gonna leave that description um i'll leave that link in the description below too uh, go ahead and check that out and yeah have a fantastic 
weekend, afternoon, wherever you are. Um, and I'll catch you very soon and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.